Hey, welcome back. So I know there's countless ways to create instructional videos. There's tools like Screencastify and Loom and QuickTime. Um, you can even screen record right on your iPad as well with iOS screen recording. And it's even coming to Android 11. Hopefully I get that on my phone soon. Um, but I wanted to share a really helpful way to create instructional videos. It's embedded into Flipgrid and it's called Flipgrid Shorts. So if you log into Flipgrid, normally we land on the Discussions tab, but let's head over to the Shorts tab instead. And what this allows you to do is to create a video in Flipgrid using the Flipgrid video camera, but not tying it into a question or a, a prompt that you would want your students to necessarily reply to with video the way Flipgrid is built. It's really just to push out information to your students in video form. So I'm gonna turn off my front facing camera now, and then we'll just jump right into this. So I'll go record video. And you can see when I go record video under the shorts tab, it turns on my front facing video immediately. Now what I'm able to take advantage of is 10 minutes of built-in recording time. And I would say keep it in that five, six, seven minute range. Don't go much beyond that. There's enough evidence around kind of video duration that we shouldn't go maybe to that 10 minute marker. If we go to the options button down below, notice that we can do a screen recording if we want to. And that could be really valuable. What I really like to do is go to the effects tab Turn on the whiteboard feature, and you can go whiteboard or blackboard. Either one's totally fine. Just pick your preference. You can even go with grid paper or line paper. I'll go with the whiteboarding feature. And then we have this slider. So when I'm making my video, if I want the emphasis to be on me, no problem. We start here and watch. I'll hit record. So welcome to this video that I'm creating with Flipgrid Shorts. Now at any point, because I have this whole Flipgrid camera that I can use, I can pause the video like I'll do now. I'll pause, go to my effects button, and then because I've already selected whiteboard, I'll just pull the slider over a bit. And now I might want to mock a few things up before I get into the next part of my video. I can use the text tool if I want to. I can ink on the screen if I'd like to solve an equation or demo a problem being solved, or I can even pull photos in. So I'll go to the photos route. I'll pull in photos, click here to upload from my laptop, and I'll just grab a photo that I was working with earlier. Right, so maybe I'm in my art history class and I want a picture of the Last Supper up here for the kids to be able to reference. So I'll make this a little bit bigger, and then I'll hit record. So as you can see right next to me over here, we have the Last Supper. There's a few things I'd like to point out about the Last Supper. Using the drawing tool, I can start to mark this up. So if you'll notice, maybe I talk about this part of the, the piece, or maybe I talk about the symmetry or the balance that was created in the piece by having equal members on each side of the kind of focal point or the vanishing point of the painting. Now at any point, if I want to wipe the screen, you can see there's a clear screen button up here on the left. I'll tap clear screen. I'll go back to my whiteboarding tool and just drag the slider over and then it's back to me again. And again, at any point you can pause, get your thoughts together, maybe change the content on the screen. And again, I'll pull the slider back over. I can just back out, right? Pick my drawing tool, my text tool, whatever I want, go back to my recording, pick up the recording where I left off. So now I'm recording again, pause my recording, go back to the effects tool, go to my boarding feature, my whiteboard, maybe just stretch myself a little bit bigger. And then again, at any point, you can tap up here in the top left-hand corner to wipe the screen. You can even, if you add something, you can hover right over here. Notice it says clear board right here, and that'll wipe your board as well. So that's it. That's creating a screen recording inside of Flipgrid using Flipgrid Shorts. Really nice option of the split screen. Now when we're totally done, let's hit next. So welcome to this video that I'm There's creating. There's my video. Flip I can always add more if I want to. And when I go add more, this is also really handy. I can go triple dots and upload an existing clip. So this might even let you add content from your video library or your archives into what you're creating. So I'm gonna push forward, let's take a selfie. There's my selfie, I'll push forward one more time. And now you have two options. You can share this with a link. So notice, here's the video that I just made. If I tap on that video, I can copy this link and drop it into any LMS that I want so my kids can watch the instructional video. Or if I want to, I can go to the download option right here, this little download icon. That goes to my downloads folder. I could put that on my YouTube channel, drag it into Google Drive, add it into a set of Google Slides, anything I want with that video footage. So that is it. 
that is creating um, instructional videos with YouTube. I hope this video helped out. Please feel free to subscribe to the channel, see every video that's coming up, and I hope this one was super helpful, and I'll catch you in the next video.